Hello everybody and welcome back to the full stack server. We're heading over to Zloy's town and we're gonna do a collab with him again this episode. Oh and there he is! We just I think we got this. You station. are invisible. You oh, are yeah? invisible at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they uh I gotta figure this out. They they really have to freaking fix this problem with uh it, it's basically whenever you unload a chunk, next time uh, you arrive to it, an entity sitting in a bot or in a minecart will be uh, rendered as if it was just standing by itself. Yeah. It's really frustrating. So yeah, you're supposed to hop on here, and I didn't, I didn't take a chance yet, and actually continue the platform up to the up to the rail itself. But yeah, while while we're at it, thanks for installing this entire thing. I mean, it you 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 wouldn't believe how much easier my life became after I got this monorail thingy magic. Oh, no problem. It's my pleasure. And yeah, once again, I might want uh, or need even your help uh, right around in around this base because. Yeah, I'm working on one or two things that would really use your steampunk knowledge. And apparently at the whole steampunky things, you are way better than I am. Even in the purely decorative stuff. Well, I don't necessarily have like a just pure steampunk style, but I guess that's what I've tried to make my build style. It's more like I like the colors of blocks that are kind of go more with the steampunk theme I think you have more blues and light like light hues in the in the town here but it, lo yeah, it looks the, really good the entire town is basically blue plus white uh, kind of it's actually quite interesting thing because before even starting recording I actually played on a multiplayer server where I had a town that had red and black theme hmm. and I kind of decided to switch to the well, somewhat opposites once I got uh, on full stack because I don't really like making the same mistakes. Uh, I mean, the same stuff twice. Yeah. Uh, so, um, basically, the town around here is called Zimgrad. And uh, yeah, welcome to the Zimgrad. Zim, uh, Zim actually is kind of a part of the Russian word Zima, which means winter. Which you can clearly see, even though you have your autumn resource pack on. Ah. Yeah. The entire place is kind of supposed to be submerged in snow. And the original idea, I don't know if you watched my episodes so far back to the beginning of the, ser of the Season 2 series, that that gust out there, see, the, the one in the uh, encased in ice. Mm -hmm. uh, it's supposed to be like one of the eldritch gusts that I got captured at some point in my uh, season one of full stack then it kind of broke loose we traveled between two servers once again and we crash landed in here and that's kind of where the story began then we got that little mining town on the side of a cliff going uh, with uh, halfway burnt down witch house way in the distance and a cemetery that you are currently experiencing so yes yeah. you are already experiencing it I should probably jump down to you too, because yeah, there's something to show you. Um, here I have my little patron cemetery cryptum thingy magic, where I basically, uh, whenever somebody uh, decides to support me on Patreon, they get added in here. Very and cool. uh, yeah, I used to confuse people by just letting one or two of the zombies kill me, because. Uh, if you get killed by a renamed mob, then you get like a message like say Exuma Void uh, killed Z uh, has slain Zloy XP and oh, yeah. it's absolutely hilarious to see. Yeah, it's absolutely hilarious to see what people uh, kind of react with. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and this cryptum is actually very important to me because uh, okay, now careful now, okay. What? The intention was that this will be a start of a little mini adventure that I never got around to doing. And whenever somebody opens the casket, you can see the trap door opening up. And uh, it's supposed to be that, yeah, cool. don't fall down. There's no way out of there. Yet. Okay. <laughs> I didn't yet even create like a single corridor for that. 
So that is actually something I would really like your uh, competence with, because at some point I'm gonna get to that project, and uh, when I do, I will really need some redstoneified re auto resettable traps to kind of trap people and maybe scare them even. I don't know. It's uh, something I really want to do. Maybe this, maybe even this Halloween, just to add to the uh, atmosphere. Oh, that actually would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? And yeah, I really like it. It's supposed to be a flying ship that uh, get gets powered with uh, a gust that's pulling it. It even has a little fez. I really, I really like the fez. That's awesome. Yeah, that's honestly the best part about it. Uh, I kind of miscalculated though. Apparently, all the gusts who are, you can see he's not tracking us, right? Mm -hmm. That's because he has uh, two blocks of uh, what's it, iron bars pushed into his skull, which disables him tracking anything. And sadly, I kind of miscalculated. And apparently, when a gust doesn't track anything, he just sits there staring to the south and it's always to the south all the guests who are who are aren't tracking anything they just stare to the south uh, and pretend okay. that you're there so yeah this actually and i'm sorry that, that i'm blabbering about uh, around here it's just i kind of am tiny bit obsessed with this entire place it's I'm, I'm i'm quite proud of it and i just cannot shut up whenever it comes to it no it's really cool i like I think I, I think this boat's probably my favorite. Yeah. Of all the builds here, it's really cool. It actually is supposed to be kind of steampunkish, but I really failed at implementing those two dark orc, orc cogs in the in 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 the butt of the boat. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. The green zombie is actually one of my redstone engineers. Uh, I will be getting more on that somewhere further on the way and speaking <laughs> of redstone um i have this relatively new structure that don't really show on camera that much um this is basically my farming setup and it's it's it's, it's quite terrible in my opinion i mean a, a pro redstoner would look at it and kind of cry but i'm i'm happy with it and that's all that really matters to me oh and you got absolutely love it oh um, you put in a uh Yes, I, I put oh in the my. pumpkin farm right after we call up. Well, not call up, but right after you finished building the community one. I just kind of felt like I need to. But I think the main attraction here is this uh, pretty stupid contraption, honestly. Uh, basically, this is a little fl slime flying machine that works as a piston tape that picks up sugarcane. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Mm -hmm. Cool. And there are basically two stations. It's a Dog M design, or maybe somebody else's. It, it's a zip crowd flying back and forth machine, bi directional flying machine. And uh, whenever it stops, uh, reaches the stop, the timer on the stop actually starts ticking and lets sugar can grow a tiny bit and then it uh, launches it back. No, look at the top of the tree. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, one more thing that I really need to ask. If if not you, then at the very least somebody. What should I do with that freaking bear? <laughs> <laughs> I've not tried an Elytra on the server yet. Oh, dude, try it. It it, it works perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, now follow me. You guys absolutely love it. It's something ridiculously simple, but also absolutely amusing. And this is, by the way, the redstone guild of my town that got absolutely burnt down when I tried to move a ghast around. Ah. Is that the ghast yeah. that's in the ship now? Yes. That ghast, a rogue fireball ended up smashing this uh, building and yeah. Oh. Now it's, now it's burnt, half burnt down. And I'm, I intend to actually leave it like this. <laughs> yep, that that is exactly what you think it is. Oh, and you went. Oh, that was weird. You went like invisible for a second. Oh yeah, it happens. So how high up can you get from also, just one shulker? Uh, thirty blocks. I counted. This looks really yeah. cool. 
From one from one shulker set up like this, you can get uh, up to like 30 blocks because he can levitate you like uh, he will track you on 15 blocks away from you, and then uh, it's like the oh, bullets actually... will keep going after you too. Yes. Yeah, like right now, and I'm actually running out of. Thank you. I'm actually running out of levitation, so I better end the pearl to back back on the ground. <laughs> But yeah, with with an elytra, you could actually go very, very not not very, but some some distance up. It's just kind of my solution to the elytra launchers because uh, those things, even if you use uh, the tongue attack one, they still cause lag, and uh, the impulse one uses ender pearls, which I don't usually have on me. So yeah, yeah, not exactly my favorite. Oh wow, yeah, you get really good height from this. At the same time, it's it's kind of my, uh, I don't know, not bargain, bragging point, bragging card. Because nobody on, on the server has a Shulka. Yeah, I mean, that is really sweet to have. It's just kind of, hey guys, get, it took me 5,000 blocks to find one. A live Shulka in the end, because people of the server just killed every single one. Oh. Freaking Manix, I swear. Shulkas are now endangered species. Oh, this is your library area you've been working on. Yep, this is exactly it. You, you've you been watching my streams. <laughs> yeah. So, I actually had some additional progress in here. And the, this here is something I would probably need your help at some point. So, yeah, look forward to it. Might okay. shoot you a call. Because... This is supposed to be the magical nether reaction, but in reality, it's going to be a gold farm. So, are you going to yep. put a bunch, of, like a bunch of portals up above, like where the stone is right now? There's actually, I'm pretty sure there's no space for the portals up above, so I will just transfer pigment from somewhere up there. Okay. Because uh, th there's not much area left uh, between this and uh, upper thing. I might have actually dig down instead and okay. first raise the pigment and, and then, then drop, drop them into inside. this room yeah so they're burning like inside the magma blocks here mm -hmm. and then just pick up their gold and uh, use it for, for whatever uh, we already have a gold farm on the server like the big one i just am too lazy to go there every time i want some gold so i decided Meh, might as well do it's mostly decorative stuff anyway yeah, plus it is yeah, really cool to have pigmen right next to your library dropping down and dying. Yep. I have one more area in this place, in this uh, base. And you already know about it, really. Mostly because that's how you used to, well, not you, but people used to arrive to my place. Mm. Once again, tiny bit of secret passages, uh, a, a little bit of... Oh no, the... Hitbox thing or something. I think. I don't oh, know. That was weird. That was I'm. Where am I at? Oh, awesome. Oh, crap. I'm at Chameleon's place. <laughs> uh, it doesn't even have a, f a railway set up. Yeah. I'll be and, back in like 11,000 hours once yeah. again. <laughs> back here. I should have at least sh uh, shown the. What's it? Oh, you, you didn't go for the nether portal. Okay, those two chests. Oh yeah, because I came from the railway. Uh, Which chest? Have a jet pack on your back. It's just you this one right here. The uh, jetpack. This one and the one below it. Oh, and I, I also have your uh, Touch of an Angel, which is like the worst name for a pickaxe ever. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this isn't my pickaxe originally. It's not yours. I, I, I remember it. It's, it's not yours. It's from... Uh, I don't know who's it from. I think it was yeah. from... Milk? Milk maybe gave it to me, or... Tiger maybe? Either Milk or Tiger. They yeah. both could. Okay, wanna, pro wanna proceed? Yes, yeah. All right, so now now you're back from outer space. You just walked in. 
with that sort of look upon your face, I should have changed it a bit more, but you change it. So yeah, if you look here, you can actually notice that I have a secret room. It's once again, regular jab door, nothing too impressive. And this is my nether portal room. Yay. It leads to the nether. Let's, let's not go there. <laughs> and and you and your railway made it obsolete. Congrats. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All this effort wasted. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to never using that room again. Even though my Nether Hub room is kind of pretty awesome in my book. So uh, around here, I have something that was the perfect start for this for my full tech series, and that is of course uh, this head and shoulders zombie. That's the literally his name. Shampoo zombie. Yeah, head and shoulders because that's all all he is. <laughs> it, he sticks out out of the floor somehow. I actually don't even know how it happened, like why he sticks out out of out of the floor. He just was sitting in a boat the other day, mm -hmm. and then something happened, and he was in the floor with a boat. Hmm. Like, it just like to get something like this. Like you he was. To on the floor and then he just sunk down through the floor one day yeah like quicksand yeah that's <laughs> it's weird it it's is weird either i spilled some water around him but even then why would it happen so and he actually is harmless absolutely you can kind of feel his hitbox here yeah I was, when you actually I was, like, start, through try it. to stomp on his head but he's harmless and uh, which is very surprising to me because you he think... has a sword. Yeah, it's like even sticking through the floor. A sword is supposed to like, a sword is supposed to kind of enlarge their uh, range, but it doesn't. So this is one one more mystery of Minecraft, I guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure he also is holding a pretty decent sword. Yeah, it looks oh, pretty well. good. So the thing I'm most excited excited to brag about is this thing that I did in the very beginning of the series and it's basically a double spawner we can clearly see that uh, oh yeah this is the doof god of uh, drool mostly because uh, this is how he walks ah Zadoof, god of drool Zadoof. yes I'm picking up all his drool right now yeah you're, you're sucking it in <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> Don't worry, I've been sucking his drool in ever since like episode 2 of the series. He's actually quite generous with the drool, surprisingly. And uh, yeah, here I have once again a collection of zombie villagers because I just like their, their textures. Like when 1.9 1. 1. Uh, came out and retextured all of these villagers, I was, that's where I instantly knew I will have a collection of them. And this guy is, yeah, he's just kind of there. I, I was planning on healing him at some point. Looks like he has really short legs. Yeah. Or no legs at all. He's just a waste up. That's what the bots do to you, dude. That's funny. Yeah. And finally, I have an aquarium here. With the scuba diver. With a scuba diving villager. I am, quite frankly, I feel like I've been doing a lot of stuff around here, not the proper way. Well, that and uh, I really want to do the adventure type tunnel area maze thing together. Yeah, that would be really cool. Okay, well, thank you so much, Zoe, for the tour. All this stuff is no really problem. amazing. I like how you have like so many things tied together in, in your base. There's a lot of different themes and everything going on. Well, that kind of because I have a, 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 a small attention squirrel. <laughs> spun. Yeah, spun. That's the word. <laughs>